Indiana's primary elections are just days away, and folks are speaking out on what's sure to be a highly contested midterm election in November. Uh, yesterday, News 10's Jessica Hayes spoke with clerks around the Wabash Valley about record numbers of folks casting their ballots. Today, she takes a look at what's on the minds of Valley voters. A few days ago, I sat down with four folks from the Wabash Valley, everyday folks like you and me who expect a lot from their local politicians. The group, one Republican, one Democrat, a Libertarian, and a Tea Partier, disagreed on the Wabash Valley's need for health care. This month at St. Ann Clinic, we'll probably see our 50,000th patient at no charge. So I, on a daily basis, I look into the face of the uninsured. It's going to be an unmitigated disaster. I have, I've been an insurance agent for about 15 or 16 years. What it's going to do it to the cost of individual health policies in this country is obscene. But one thing they did agree on, Indiana's politicians better keep their constituents in mind and stop spending money they don't have. Two of the most sought after seats affecting the entire Wabash Valley are Brad Ellsworth's House seat and Evan Bayes' Senate seat. Ellsworth ran as a very conservative uh, Democrat, but since he's been in office, he voted for the bailouts, uh, he voted for this health care bill, and I think that uh, a lot of people in Indiana did not get what they expected when uh, they voted for him. Since the 2008 elections, the Tea Party movement has made a name for themselves, speaking out, saying they'll vote for the candidate who governs according to the Constitution. We want the, the country governed as it was founded. Yes, we're angry. We're very angry. We don't like what we're seeing. A CBS poll shows that 73% of Americans are unhappy with the job Congress is doing. And more than half think Obama is steering the country towards socialism. But these four disagree on whether that'll be enough to again bring about change in those we send to Washington, D.C. These are just a few of the many issues affecting your vote in the May primaries. To make your voice heard, make sure you cast a ballot on or before Election Day, May 4th. Back to you. Thank you, Jessica.